We're here in the back end of the Youngstown Steel Heritage Museum site and looking at the right-of-way for our test track. And uh, what we're going to be doing here this year is starting at the end of the track at the cling car and going out where the air compressor is sitting and all the way out to, um, to the end of our property, which is about 20 feet this side of that white building. So from here to as far as we can go is about, about 230, 240 feet that we can put in a test track. Also, once we get out there, we're gonna put in a switch and then we're gonna have a track that's gonna come down along the fence here and back behind the building. So we'll have a, our, our initial little piece of railroad here will just be out and back. Uh, eventually we plan to add a couple more switches and put a few more yard tracks in here. Uh, the idea of the rail operations here at Youngstown will be mainly uh, a, a little switching railroad. So you could go out and you could switch cars around. Since we don't have a lot of track for long runs, we're going to do this, uh, you know, switching demonstrations. So um, we're trying to acquire some rail. I already have the switch. Uh, I've got a, a good lead on getting some ties this year. And then once the ground thaws, we'll get out there with the Bobcat, we'll grade the right away, and we'll start laying track. So we're also working on the engine facilities here for the 58. The uh, Still working on finishing up the engine house. Uh, we just acquired this um, uh, gantry crane from HGR for 750 bucks. It's a five ton crane, so we'll, it'll be useful for the initial assembly of the locomotive as well as uh, moving equipment in and out. We can back the trailer underneath, pick the car up, put it over on the track. Um, we have a water tank here for, uh, I think it's like eight, nine hundred thousand gallons of water. Uh, we'll put that up on, a, uh, on its own support. We have a, a coal bunker. Uh, and at the far end, the, the engine house will have doors at both ends. And you'll be, we'll be able to run through, and on the far side will be a small turntable where we can turn the 58 around. Uh, there's also an idea that maybe we can run a radius track into the Todd engine building uh, off the turntable. So we'll see well, how far that goes. Um, but that's a, that's a project for a little bit down the road, getting that turntable put in. So basically when we're done, we'll have, a, we'll have a fully equipped engine servicing facility here with turntable, engine house, cooling and watering facilities to support the operation of the 58. Uh, the idea is to operate this locomotive as much as possible uh, here in Youngstown. And of course, we'll also be down in Pittsburgh at Cary Furnaces for a while. Um, so that um, you know, we're going to have steam running and we're going to be doing it all the time and I want to have good facilities here in order to support the operation of the, uh, of the locomotive and the narrow gauge railroad.